at Honey Can Do, we are your source for organization, storage, and style. We make product assembly easy so that, well, any honey can do it. To begin, remove product contents and group all like parts. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver for assembly of this product. Locate the shelf and two front table supports. Lay the shelf down with the pre-drilled holes facing upward and attach the front table supports, recessed holes facing upward, using three long screws for each and your screwdriver, like this. Notice the holes in the side of the front supports, which are for the barrel nuts, face inward, toward each other. Next, locate the left and right table frames and lay them out so that the pre-drilled holes for the slides face upward. Now, open the slides and attach them to the table frames using four screws each and your screwdriver. Notice the oblong or oval holes in the slides line up with the pre-drilled holes in the table frames. You will need to look through the slots in the slides while sliding them around, like this, to locate the holes underneath the slides. When assembled, the left and right slides should face each other, like this. Next, locate a side table support and insert wooden dowels into the ends. Notice the dowels always go into the holes opposite the holes which have channels for the barrel nuts and bolts. If you place them in the wrong holes, they will get stuck in the bolt channels and be difficult to get out. So be careful to place the dowels in the proper holes. Attach the side table support to the right frame, like this, lining up the holes in the end with the holes in the table frames. Then, place dowels into the proper holes for the second side table support and attach it to the right frame, like this. Now place dowels into the proper holes in the front table supports, which we assembled earlier, and attach the shelf to the right frame, like this. Now attach the left table frame to the unit by lining up the holes and lowering it into position, like this. The table is now loosely assembled. To secure the table, use long bolts and barrel nuts. The long bolts screw into the barrel nuts like this. Notice when assembled, the groove in the barrel nuts line up with the bolts, like this. Here is how they work. Place a barrel nut into the appropriate hole, turning the nut so that it will line up with the bolt. Now, insert a long bolt, screw it into the barrel nut, and tighten it with the Allen wrench, like this. Long bolts and barrel nuts go into the holes as indicated. Now, while carefully holding the table together, place the table upright to secure the other side the same way, using long bolts and barrel nuts. Okay, now you have the table securely assembled. Let's set it aside and continue by building the hamper frame. When assembled, the left and right hamper frame parts should face each other, like this. Now, lay them down and place dowels into the appropriate holes in the ends of the hamper supports, as before. The notch in the hamper supports face upward when assembled. Next, loosely attach the hamper supports to the right frame by lining up the holes in the ends of the supports with the holes in the frame, like this. Then, place dowels into the four appropriate holes in the ends of the hamper lower support and attach it to the right frame, like this. Continue by lowering the frame into position. You have now loosely assembled the hamper frame. Now secure it as before using long bolts, short bolts, and barrel nuts. Notice the shorter bolts go into the center holes of the hamper lower support. Line up the barrel nuts as before so that the groove in the barrel nuts line up with the bolts. And screw the bolts into place using the Allen wrench. Bolts and barrel nuts go into the holes as indicated. Now, while carefully holding the hamper frame together, turn the unit upright and secure the right side using the same method. Next, 
thread the hamper supports through the channels in the top of the hamper bags and lower the bags into position, like this. Now, place the units next to each other, like this. Pull out the slides, line them up with the pre-drilled holes in the hamper frame, and attach them using screws, as shown. Notice, the vertical oblong holes in the slides line up with the pre-drilled holes in the hamper frame. As before, you will need to look through the slots in the slides while sliding them, like this, to locate the holes underneath the slides. Attach the opposite side the same way, and voila! Your folding table and sorter is ready for clothes sorting action! Dirty clothes never looked so good. Happy organizing! At Honey Can Do, we don't believe you have to go broke to have a beautiful, well-organized home. An assembly should be easy to do.